soft velocity. In this chapter, we will see how to modify the skeleton. In fact, we are going to ditch the skeleton. We are no, we no longer need to modify anything inside the skeleton. Let me show you the idea. If you see, this is my original skeleton, and I do not have any script in it. Yet, the application is loading many scripts, and if I see the source, you will see that I have a lot of scripts. But the skeleton is clean. Why? First, when I update a broker, a broker will, will make a new clean version of the skeleton. And if I have some scripts inside it, or if I have some CSS files, a broker on the update will erase everything. Therefore, we have to use a different solution. And a different solution will be to do just this. I have a new class. And this class is going to make the script is going to create the lines for the script on the fly. Let's take a look at the class. As you can see, I am passing a parameter to the class and I am returning, I'm going to return uh, a string. Why? Basically, I don't have to do anything inside Clarion to support the scripts, but I need the browser to know what to load. In this case, I would like to load animation, I would like to load data tables, I would like to have the video background, I would like to be able to use the CSV export. You have the idea. In this case, what I have to do is to have a class. What I'm telling Clarion to do is, when I receive the call to the class using text resizer, you will have to make a new string doing this and you will compose these lines and return it to me. Where? I'm going to show you where. Basically, I change everything. I move the skeleton, the scripts in my, in my skeleton, I move that to the class. As you can see, I am returning the script lines. And let's see, I would like to support Shepherd uh, the mainframe. If I go to embed, you will see that um, on the before the head, before closing the head, I have this this embed. Okay, basically, I am telling. Clarion to output a few lines. What lines? I don't need to know. I just have to write those lines once using the class and then I can call those lines from any place inside the program and support the extension. In this case, it's Shepker. If I go back to H5 and if I take a look at the mainframe, this is Shepker and I am going to check the source. The source is here and of course here you can see what kind of lines I am outpouring so uh, the browser will know what to load. It's very easy. If I wanted to load anything else I just have to call the script and the class will output everything properly formatted. Let's take a look at the inventory. Uh, if I go to that part, you will see that we are loading the video background, the CSV export, and data tables. If I check the source for the page, you will see what I'm, what I'm loading, including the animation. This is what I'm loading. I just have to tell the browser what to load. And I have the class here. And you can see 
and it was very easy. If I want to load the a script, I just need to call the class with the parameter uh, for the script that I want to load. And this is going to simplify everything a lot because I don't have to rely on the skeleton to load my scripts or, or my CSS files or whatever I want. I can have it inside the same application inside Clarion using the same language that I am familiar with and in this case I will have a faster application because I am not loading everything every single time I am not I don't have to process all the scripts even if I don't I am not going to use them I don't have to to have that uh, overhead I will load only what I need on a per case basis, on a per window basis. If I want animation on a window, I just have to call the animation. If I would like to have data tables on that browse, I just have to call data tables and then construct the, the parameters the usual way. So let's run again this application and you will see what I mean. Here you don't see anything because well this is the, the application for the desktop. But on H5 you will see all the scripts that I am supporting. Let's go back to take a look at the sales graph. Here I am loading a script. And of course, I am calling the script. I am I am loading the chart script. Okay, but if you see on the skeleton, I don't have anything because I don't have to add or modify the skeleton anymore by using this approach. You can call any script you want and construct. And you can and you can have a uh, great flexibility on loading only what you need. This is the best way. This is the clearing way. You don't have to call all the scripts or to have a template uh, or the skeleton in this case and load a lot of scripts every single time you wanna open a new window. You don't have to. You can if you want, but uh, you don't have to. And the class is very easy to use. In the same way, we can make a class to view, for example, uh, Google Maps display. Uh, we can pass the par only parameter and the, the class will construct everything that we need. But this is the right way to do it using Clarion. In this case, your application will be self-contained. You will have everything inside the application. You don't have to worry on every update. If you have a new update, on, you only have to recompile everything, run it again, check that everything is, is running properly, but you don't you no longer have to worry about the scripts or the CSS files. You can load them here. On the next chapter, we will learn how to use a different wallpaper on a per window basis. It is possible. And again, we will use a class to build everything.